going on everyone? It's Rich Lex and today's video girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay, let's talk because I feel like we need to talk. Travis Scott is in more drama today. $750 million lawsuit girl. TMZ just reported girl that Travis Scott had the $750 million Astro World lawsuit and Drake Apple and Live Nation are in the lawsuit as well. Now, some people are gonna be upset. Why is Drake in it and why is Apple in it? They're holding everyone accountable at this point, right? And you guys, I am literally so convinced that Travis Scott has blocked me on Twitter, girl. Like seriously, wholeheartedly, I, he blocked me on Twitter and probably on Instagram. If you want, you can check me out on Instagram, I'm there or Twitter if you want to as well. I, so that's what I think all day long, girl. Cause every time I try to like post it, it doesn't even show up, girl. But anyways, I just, they got me together. Send me lots of love and positive energy. Like this video up. I, I got a head cold. That's why I sound a little congested, girl. I don't know, Travis Scott trying to take me down, girl. They're trying, cause I'm like the number one leading Travis Scott drama every freaking day. Angel, there's new Travis Scott drama. You already know to come over here, girl. Grab a snack, come on back. You are right now, okay? They're trying to take me down. They're, they're coming after me in the house, girl. They don't want me to spill the tea, girl. Okay, so yeah, I don't know. I got a head cold. Send me some positive vibes in the comments and so I can like heal quickly. I need all the light. The more likes I get, the better I feel. The more comments I get, okay, the more it just goes away. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, anyways. And then Kylie Jenner, his baby mama, she's over there apparently losing money to the house. Mm-hmm. I have it right here. Over her makeup line. Yep. You already right know. I mean, the makeup was all right, wasn't all that anyway. But you know, it, it, it did what it's supposed to give and the makeup gave what it was supposed to give. But now I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, is she glad that she didn't end up marrying him? Because imagine that. Now you already know, guys, okay. Can I talk, can I like be honest with you for a second? Okay, I was thinking that this lawsuit drama was literally going to be, oh, so this was the Kylie Jenner concealer that I put on. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's not all that, but like it's decent. I was thinking like, girl, $750 million, that's a lot of money. Is that enough to ruin him financially? Like I said, I know there's insurance out there, but insurance only covers so much. And then his name is tainted. And I talked about this in my previous videos. So if you can't get enough of these, go watch my other Travis Scott videos. They're, they're there. Leave a comment as well, girl. But I kind of felt like I was thinking in the beginning that this Travis Scott lawsuit was, was gonna top off at $30 million, right? And that he was gonna make money from the concert and use that money to pay the lawsuit. No girl, he refunded the tickets. He refunded all the people who paid their money to go, got their ticket, refund the house. So what happened to those people who bought tickets from somebody else? Do they get, does that somebody else get the money and give it back to them? You know how people buy tickets and they don't end up going or whatever? Very interesting, girl. And so I'm thinking he didn't make any money. He lost money with this. And Travis Scott, he, he hasn't really spoken. And when he does spoke, it does him no favors. He doesn't really speak correctly. <laughs> Neither do I, but like, girl, I can at least form a proper sentence every now and then. But like Travis Scott, like, what is he doing? You know, and I was thinking to myself, you know, people literally when they get sued like this, they go through depression, anxiety, they leave the country, they maybe like think about offing themselves, stuff like that. And I'm not saying that's what he's going through, I'm saying it could be possible that he's really going through some dark times right now. And I kind of felt like Travis Scott in a way was a puppet, even though his name was on the billboard and everything like that, there was no, but this is what really, look, look listen, okay? This, this is how it goes, this is how it's gonna go. Oh my God, I can't even, I can't even put it into, into frame because it, it, it bothers me so much. I'm, I'm gonna try. I just don't understand, right? How Travis Scott can be on stage and there's like people just falling out, falling out. People just dying left and right at his concert, right? And nobody from the management team, managers, assistants that he has, come, lets him know, stop the show. People have died. It's getting out of control. Can you bring it down? Stop hyping it up. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
It's it's nobody. So so literally is is Travis Scott just all surrounded by yes men and yes keep going yes the shows just keep going you know and, then, and now I've got to thinking about like you know there's that whole conspiracy theory about you know the demonology behind it and stuff like that but you have to you have to be like practical here when you have that type of music playing those big speakers and it's just like throwing out that bass. It kind of feels like that wah, 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 like that, right? And it can put you in a trance. And it can get you a, a nosebleed. And it can make you feel like claustrophobic and you just kind of feel dizzy and the music is just too loud, you know? That's, girl, okay? And I, that's part of it too. Music was way too loud. There were a lot of people pushing and stuff. And there's a YouTube channel that I found on YouTube when it talks about crowd control, girl. If you're gonna talk about the Travis Scott, Travis Scott, a crowd control and people start pushing forward and and then you collapse there's there's whole YouTube channels dedicated specifically to managing crowd control and I was thinking to myself I was literally thinking to myself okay if Travis Scott was to say stop right let's stop this concert hey you know what guys we're gonna have to end the concert right now you know it's going on like that like that I was thinking that you know, would that would have made the crowd be upset and then want to just start raging even more and angry and, and cause chaos and confusion? I was thinking that could be one possibility why he didn't want to stop it. But I'm not here to defend Travis Scott. Travis Scott can defend himself. Then I thought to myself, no, wait a minute. It, it costs nothing to be like, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, can, you, can you clear a path for the ambulance? Thank you. And when somebody falls down, pick them up. When somebody falls down, pick them up. I said, when somebody falls down, pick them up. Like that. Hey, can we make more room for the ambulance and the EMT over here? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let the ambulance pass. And we're going to start the show. I'm going to start the song again. We're going to st start it again from the beginning. But let's let this ambulance pass. All right. Go backstage. Have a little water, calm down. You know, look at the monitor, they don't pass. Okay, come back out. Y'all ready? So nothing, girl, that costs nothing. Like what is going on? You know what I'm saying? Girl, I can do it, girl. I literally just did it right there. Okay, I literally just did it right there. Can we turn on the lights so we can see? You know, stuff like that. Then, and then what he does is he, is he, is he comes on stage and I've seen I've seen people who care about their audience do this, right? I have been to some, like that bus, the girl, I went to this busted ass Ariana Grande concert and it was just song, 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 song. Thank you, next, bye. And then she left. I was like, this is like, there was no like audience vibing type of energy with that Ariana Grande one. So I've been to that one, girl. That was boring and busted at the house. And it almost seemed like she was trying to just rush through the concert to go to the next city. Rush through the concert, go to the next city. That's what it felt like. It was none of that walking back on stage, which Travis Scott should have did. How y'all doing? I love you. And I love you for loving me. And we all love each other. And then like sit at the edge of the stage, you know, where your feet get dangled down. How you doing, Houston? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a good night tonight. How you feeling? I see you out there. Like, you know, lay down on the stage. It's such a beautiful night. You know, um, I remember back in the day, and I tell, you know, you know, you know they always tell, I'm gonna tell a little story about how I got started. You know, and then, and then, and you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? A little one minute, two minute little connection with the audience. All right, let's get it going. Boom, boom, boom. Nothing, girl. It was just next song, next song, hype it up even more. It was like there was no audience talking back. You know, you talk to the audience. Oh my God. Talk to the audience, not at the audience type vibe, right? So I just kind of felt like he dropped the ball in so many situations. And I'm sitting here and I just, I, I did, it's hard for me because I do have a heart and I do always like, I believe in second chances. I believe people make mistakes and, and to forgive them and move on. The Travis Scott thing, it's severe. And I put on my social media, if you follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, I posted, I said, do you think Travis Scott deserves to be canceled? And an overwhelming amount of people said yes. It was like, last time I checked, it was like 95% said yes and like 5% said no. I'm like, whoa, the people have spoken. You guys have spoken. Y'all think that he deserves to be canceled. So I'm like, okay, 
Well, let's see. Let's see if people are gonna buy his next album, buy his next thing. And there's so many people who, who love and support him who've spent thousands of dollars on his merch. Now what do you, now what do, you do with that? Do you wear the merch? Are, Cause you know, like I'm gonna look at someone sideways they're wearing a merch. I'm like, girl, are you supporting Travis Scott the house? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, let me know if I'm wrong, girl. Let me know if I'm wrong. But anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna continue to follow it and we're gonna talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.